Hello everyone, welcome to Prompt Engineering Podcast. I'm glad that you are giving a very good response and learning this unique skill with me. In the previous video, we learned many useful prompt engineering techniques to boost productivity, like zero, one, and few short prompting. In this video, we are going to dive deep into some more interesting prompts and generating techniques which will enhance your productivity and will give you surprising results. So let's get started. Tectonic shift. Shaping the future with innovation. Now, the first slightly more advanced technique into which I wanna dive is the ask before answer prompting technique. And the idea here is simply is that you in the end still have your role, goal, and your constraints and extra information. But in addition, in your prompt, you tell ChatGPT that before generating its main answer to your prompt, it should first ask a couple of clarification questions, a couple of questions that allow ChatGPT to produce a better answer. Now, here's an example for this technique. Now, in this prompt, I'm again defining a role that ChatGPT should act as an experienced travel blogger with a focus on destinations for nature and activity lovers. And then I define the actual goal, which is to write a blog post about snorkeling at Champagne Beach on Dominica, which is really amazing, by the way. And then I'm also providing some extra information, but I also added this last paragraph here where I tell ChatGPT that it should first ask me for more information if such extra information is needed to make sure that the best possible blog post is being written here. Now to see the difference, I will first of all get rid of that last paragraph and then generate this blog post by just sending this prompt here and I'm getting a decent blog post with some nice information inside of it. Definitely not too bad. Definitely a blog post that could be used, but also really not too special. Therefore, here's the same prompt again, now with that last paragraph being added, and if I send this to ChatGPT, it indeed does ask me for additional information. Specifically here, it's asking me for extra details about Champagne Beach, which I might want to highlight. Like for example, more detail about the underwater features, marine life, the snorkeling conditions or nearby attractions. So therefore here as a follow-up message, I provide more detail about Champagne Beach by answering first three questions and leaving rest on ChatGPT. So when I send this prompt to ChatGPT, it goes ahead and generates me a great blog post which I could use on my website which features those additional little details that I provided and which therefore arguably is better than a first version, which did not have all that extra information. So therefore, this ask before answer prompting technique is really special and helpful in many scenarios in your routine tasks, and it will definitely boost your productivity. It's still all about defining a goal, a role, and some extra constraints and information, but you are taking advantage of ChatGPT's vast knowledge pool and its capabilities to help generate a better response and some better output by simply telling ChatGPT that it should ask you for additional information and clarification before it goes ahead and generates the final output. What's really great about having ChatGPT is that you can ask ChatGPT to help you and to give you more prompting techniques that you could use. For example, here I'm giving ChatGPT a role and I'm then giving it the goal of providing me with 10 useful ChatGPT prompting techniques. I tell ChatGPT which kind of output format I want to have and I use one short prompting here to give ChatGPT one example. In this case here, contextual prompting. With this, ChatGPT actually gives me other prompting techniques that I can use to get better results from ChatGPT. Now, here in the list it gave me, you will actually see many techniques which I have covered already in this prompt engineering podcast in detail. But it's super important to be aware of the fact that you can ask ChatGPT to tell you how you can use it in a more efficient way. Please remember, as we learned in the previous episodes as well, at the end, ChatGPT is the large language model. And sometimes it can also might give you some nonsense here or some recommendations which actually are not too useful for you. 
But still, for getting some inspiration, this can be a very good approach for getting more ideas on how to structure and write your prompts and get fruitful results. Now, when it comes to letting ChatGPT help you write prompts, you are not limited to getting prompt ideas from ChatGPT. Instead, you can also let ChatGPT help you by asking ChatGPT which extra information could be provided by you to get a better output. And if that sounds familiar to you, that's of course the core idea behind ask before answer prompting. But you are not limited to the ask before answering prompting technique. Instead, you can of course also ask ChatGPT which extra information could improve its response after it gave you a response. By simple sending a follow-up message like this one here, which extra information do you need to create a better tweet or whatever you were requesting. For example, here I asked ChatGPT to give me three advantages of JavaScript over PHP. And it did indeed give me some decent advantages here. But nonetheless, I can of course ask ChatGPT which extra information it would need to give me a better list of advantages and it then does tell me which extra information is needed. So even though we did not use the ask before answer technique here, I did not add this extra paragraph in my first initial prompt. We can still refine the response we got from ChatGPT by simple asking a follow-up question and then falling back to this ask before answer approach. Now, besides asking ChatGPT which extra information could improve a result, you can also ask ChatGPT to criticize and evaluate and improve itself. You can, for example, ask ChatGPT what could be improved about your tweet if you did ask it to create a tweet. For example here, I asked ChatGPT to write a tweet about the advantages of JavaScript and it therefore did exactly that. It wrote such a tweet and we could of course take that tweet. It might be exactly what we are looking for, but often when working with ChatGPT, responses can indeed be improved by forcing ChatGPT to be self-critical here, for example, we can get ChatGPT to improve this tweet by asking it whether the tweet can be improved and how it could be improved and to then also apply those improvements. And while this does not always lead to better results, it sometimes does because it turns out that with ChatGPT, you often get better results if you don't just accept the first initial draft but you instead ask ChatGPT to be self-critical and to evaluate and improve the responses it's generated. In the previous episode, we learned about laddering prompting or the laddering technique, which can be a very useful and powerful technique for completing complex tasks with help of ChatGPT. Now, even though you can, of course, split up a problem into smaller problems yourself, and sometimes you indeed might want to do that, you can also use ChatGPT to split up a problem and you could send a prompt like this one here to ChatGPT. Now, in this example here, I'm giving ChatGPT a quite complex role and then I set the main goal that it should help me create a blog post. I describe what the blog post should be about and what the target audience is and then I add this instruction here. And that's the new and special part here. I'm telling ChatGPT to split this task that it should help me create this blog post into multiple steps and then start with the first step. It indeed tells me that the first step indeed should be the research and outline and a list of important keywords. And it then starts with that step as a first step and then thereafter it tells me what the second step should be which is introduction here. After writing the second step, it will stop and will wait for your next instruction. And the main takeaway here is that indeed it does split up a problem into multiple steps itself here. And that can of course be a super powerful technique because it's not just using kind of the self-reflective capabilities of ChatGPT, but it also means that you don't have to think about a complex problem too long. Now, if I give instruction, a new prompt to write about the point number two from the above research, it will indeed give you the result for this step as well. 
So this is how you can use ChatGPT to split up the problem for you. And ChatGPT might come up with a way of splitting that problem you might have not come up with yourself. For example, that's all for today. In the next episode, we will continue from here and we'll learn some more exciting prompt engineering techniques which will boost your productivity. So until then, bye-bye.